once before, but it's not like that anymore. Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for episode 5 of season 4 of Shameless. This time the title of the episode is There's the Rob and I am excited to watch this episode. A lot of people are excited about this reaction and about this episode uh, specifically. So that is making me anxious but also excited because I want to see uh, what this episode is about and what it's going to give us. I, I, You guys are very good at not spoiling anything. You guys just have uh, said that you guys are excited for it. So let's see what this episode has in hands for us. So I hope that you guys enjoy. I hope that you guys continue supporting. I'm loving this season of, of Shameless so, so freaking much. And um, I'm going to try uh, next month during um, January to do an entire Shameless week. So I, I don't know if you guys will like that. I don't know if you guys will support it. How you feel about an entire week, five days from Monday to Friday every single day a new episode of Shameless. Let me know if that is something that you are interested in and I'm, I am for sure going to try to do it because I have said that I will do uh, Vampire Diaries, the original uh, week next month and I was also thinking about doing a Shameless week and yeah let me know if that is something that you guys will like i will totally love it uh so yeah maybe we can finish you know season four a lot sooner than expected uh and yeah yeah that's pretty much it i hope that you guys enjoyed please give it a lot of thumbs up if you love shameless subscribe for more comment in the comment section down below all your thoughts about the episode also go to patreon to watch the full uncut reaction video for this episode and to get a week uh week early reaction for instance this is episode five and by the time that this is posted on youtube episode six is already there or about to be posted or something like that so in case you guys want to watch it that is what you have to do that's it without further ado let's just begin with season four episode five of shameless <laughs> The brother. Oh, Jesus Christ. But, like, I hate this the fact that he knows that she's kind you of like an addict. Really not. It's, it's classic. I just want to say, like, even though she is willing to do this and, like, she's not saying no, but he knows that, or at least he has this theory where he knows that she's an addict and that she likes this for some reason. And like him being an addict, he's taking advantage of that. So I don't know how I feel about that because it's like you see a, a, an alcoholic person. Like you don't give him more alcohol because you know that that shit will, you know, put him down. But he's doing this. I just, I don't like this. Philip Gallagher. Oh no. Yeah, who's asking? Fort Dearborn Mill. Join me if you want to wipe my ass. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, what the fuck, man? Hey, Sergeant, wait! Oh my god! You're Philip Gallagher. You know this man? <gasps> I've never seen him before in my life. Oh my Any god. Any idea how he got a hold of your name and social security? Also for attempted theft of government property and being away without leave. What the hell? Try and steal Ian! Service the air missile. Army issue what? box or brief. Sergeant. Oh, dear. Mr. Gallagher, we may need you to testify. If that's all this is, no, then I... No, no, it, it was. I mean, yes, initially yeah. I sort of looked at you as a organ farm, but... <laughs> An organ you figure farm. Out we were family, you didn't treat me like the rest of my kids. They, Rats, she doesn't know you. Shit and help. Doesn't know the full story, though. Oh, sweetie, but... I'm sorry. Hey, I you have a cry. queen's blade, I think. I don't know. She's sweet. I'd be crying, too, if I wasn't so high. <laughs> oh, that's kind of adorable. He's not a bad person. It's just his disease, you know. 
I've never been to an outdoor sex club. <laughs> okay, what's speaking of romantic intimacy? You're, you're, uh, stop can it! You, can you please stop Jack yeah. Hammond for one minute? Thank you. More like six or seven. Seven oh. days? Weeks. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you gonna end his business? Oh, my God. Hey. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh. I was talking about so chicken. How are the co-eds? Oh, very... The Menominee Indian tribe. <laughs> that would be my succotash. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> She's adorable. There's collage phase. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys later, okay? Where are you going? I'm gonna go uh, ask around about Ian, see if anyone's heard from him. I'm glad okay. that he's right. worried about Ian. So I've got no one to remember my our... boy. I came to talk to you. Oh! Come on. I love you heard that. Heard anything from you? No. Do you think I give a shit because I work with the guy? Oh come on! No. Gonna make me spell it out? Yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. Oh my god! Don't. The fuck you get? Mickey, Mickey, Nothing. Mickey. I'm stop. Just, uh, worried about him. He in trouble? Yeah, I think so. What kind of trouble? I'll tell you when I find out. I love that he didn't push him, though. Yeah. I don't think he come on. You have to go find your future husband. Like thing about the turkey. And just bring a warm coat. Yeah, there's a what? lit dance floor, and I guess a he DJ said it? or a live band, depending. We just sat at our table. Got oh, our... my God. God damn it. Stop it. Mike, I don't know what he's... Please, just go. Shit. Actually, my deceased ex. But you know what? Rob is such a destructive person. I don't go to church with him, but I've come to buy Menominee Warrior, and I'm learning all about the culture. Isn't this a great country? Yeah. <laughs> Just one I don't know. big rapey melting pot. To sweating it out. I mean, I don't think. To sweating it out. <laughs> I don't think you can oh. harm him. We'll put this sign out. Come this you way. Know, yeah. Nice will come, right? <laughs> We're trying. Violating my trust and screwing me over. Even oh, dead, fuck off. A thousand dollars. Oh, yeah, true. Tell me what you told Mike. The truth. He needed to know. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, true. Oh, that was for his sake? Yeah. How generous. It did you a favor, okay? Fuck you. Yeah. You don't want to be with him. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. You mind not swinging that shit around <laughs> hurt someone. This is yours gone 10 fucking minutes. <laughs> and her girls are out of work. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> to open a whore out? No, of course not. Mikey wants it's to. It's a rub and tug. It's a massage with a happy ending. I don't know what a rub and tug is. <laughs> yeah. professional. If that means I gotta turn out some Russian whores to feed my family <laughs> and pursue the American dream, that's how it's gotta be. You do you. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think it's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Let's get those bitches tugging. <laughs> that was a presidential it means speech. A lot. Because I was screwing her, and then she started screwing my brother. Are you what? Oh really? my God! My bad. <laughs> this shit is the death. We learned a valuable lesson. Anyone can jerk a cock. I jerk mine. <laughs> he jerks his. Learn unique skills. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no one knows what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> Mikey. <laughs> we learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> Anyone can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mikey. How long ago? No, I mean, like, old, old, like, over 40. Oh, he's with... I don't know his name, but if you find him, ask him about Ian. Oh, uh, Anything? the dad, yeah. the dad. We should ask Ian's old boyfriend, someone with gray hair. Jimmy's dad. Yeah, Jimmy's dad. Yeah. Well, why don't you both come inside? Sure, yeah. Now it pisses me off that Chris won't just say... That's not even okay. He has a thing. Well, you really got a type, huh? Yeah, true. What does that mean? Oh. Get out, Ian look alike. I let you get out here for a while. When? We can get some methods to hand out flyers and shit. And pay him how? We don't. We just tell him we'll pay him, and if they complain about it, we'll beat the shit out of him. <laughs> a true businessman. A true businessman. <laughs> An entrepreneur. <laughs> Carl. 
wow, they even look alike. No. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> this is an emotional situation. I love Sammy. Can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, she's freaking me out. <laughs> so to the alibi. Yeah. She opens up with him a lot more than with Fiona. It's complicated, I guess. But I'm glad that she has someone to talk what to. Oh my god! The White Swallow. The what? The White Swallow in Boys Town. Okay. The White Swallow? Right, thank you. Thank you. Go, 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 go. go. Okay, <laughs> this is a quest to try to find him. Come on. No. Oh my god! <laughs> Happy birthday. Isn't this harassment already? Fiona, don't do it. Fiona, please. Second look. Did you know what that means? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yo. What is up? What's up, really? Hey, man. Oh, stealing government property? Stop shelf. Ian, stop it. Oh, hey, did, did you hear me? They, they say. Yo! What is going on with Ian? Why is he acting like that? Alright, so we should go. Is there something wrong with him? I don't well, know. know I think so. Okay? I'll come back. And this is stinking wind. <laughs> wind. That's unusual. Got any burgers? <laughs> burgers? I've got buffalo burgers. Would you? Come on, guys, let's go. Well, he did help too. I wonder why they don't love you sometimes. Oh, he looks happy. Well, soon you'll knock up your first ghetto girl and. No, you. shut up. But you get to my age, you get perspective. You learn so to awful. embrace the responsibilities that come with parenthood. What responsibility do Sammy's you have? Sammy's my last chance to get it right. What? what? Do you mean get it right. You still have the huh? other kids. I gotta go. Now. I'm like crap, I might even snort them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 calm down. Well, police probably get to keep their job. Oh, no shit, that's great. Mm -hmm. What? Oh my god. What's on his oh face? My oh my god. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh, oh my god. 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 Call. It's okay. It's okay. It's Liam? A... Oh my god. Liam? Oh my god. Oh Jesus Christ. I kind of knew that this could happen because he was left unattended. BP's too much. Okay. She's oh gonna be okay. Oh my yeah. god. Get away, please. Coming through. Three year old male cocaine ingestion. BP's 200 over 120. HR's 130. It's gonna be okay, right? It's gonna be okay. Right? Oh my god. Oh my god. Poor Liam. Planet, we know your healing spirit when you are with us. Your voice is the voice of all things. You call to us. Frank Gallagher. <laughs> oh my god. Christ. Have a seat. Someone will be out with you in a minute. Oh, lip is what was that? Who's Fiona? Oh, she's going That's to me. jail? Put your hands behind you. Jesus Christ. Oh, Fiona. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, that was the end of season four, episode five of Shameless. I, you know, you know, despite, not despite, I, I, I just, here's the thing. If I, I want to point out that I love Fiona as a character. Now I understand the 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 fact that maybe during the next few episodes Lip is going to just freak freak out and flip on her and like you know uh, 
be very harsh on her and I will understand him. I think that I just saw his face and I, I, I understood him. And here's the thing with, with this whole situation with Fiona. I love the character. I love how they do it, you know, and the actress is just so amazing at portraying every single emotion on um, her face like it shocks me that you guys uh said that she hasn't won an emmy or anything for her performance as fiona gallagher when like the scenes where she was with monica like back season one two it was just like she deserved every single fucking award out there it was just truly amazing uh same thing with this episode but I think that uh, we are getting into a more deep uh, understanding of Fiona. Uh, the Fiona we have known, uh, and I want to mark this, prior to the fact that she becomes a legal guardian of the kids, prior to that, Fiona has just been, it has always been about her siblings and about her family and about maintaining this and sacrificing herself and all of that you know and she has put up so many dreams uh just to uh be there just to help and i feel like after she gets the legal rights even though she has been doing all of this for such a long time it is still is incredible how after she gets the the uh legal rights so the kids will never be taken away from her and all of that we have seen a lot more responsibility with her but we have also seen her fail a lot more uh i don't blame lip or ian for being out there trying to live their lives lips this lip deserves to to go to college to have a future to not worry about her his little brother getting coke you know things like i i honestly i truly uh understand that even with ian going like being heartbroken and going into the into the army and all of this like all the things that now are fiona's responsibility when before they weren't like legally like everything feels like it's just like snowballing out of control and it truly is just it's sad uh i feel like everyone in some sort of way they had a guidance you know uh i i i hope that you know even with lip if lip is is uh, a lot more he connects a lot more with debbie he sometimes connects a lot more with um with carl as well uh uh fiona's role has become more of the provider for the house rather than someone to set ex an example for like you know a role model for her kid for her siblings and like uh if you see it it's just like the awful upbringing that she had the negligence that she had in her life and she is doing the same things that frank used to do and keeps doing you know the, the kids grow a lot stronger a lot wiser in the fact that what they need to drink and what they don't and how drugs affect you and things like that but it's still you know fiona doesn't have any one to look up to and she's doing it on her own i i do you know from a legal stand, standpoint it is her fault it is her responsibility what just happened to to liam it's not like oh you i wish you blame her if something bad happens to little um liam she will just that will just destroy her completely destroy her also the possibility that she goes into like uh prison for negligence is very it's there like even if she also 
they find out that Ian like forged his way into going to to college to to the army and the fact that Fiona has no idea where Ian is either you know and like I, I see this and, and, and you see all the mistakes Frank has done and how, you know, in a way, even though she is a provider, provider, she has just forgotten or simply she doesn't know how to do it and how to be able to provide emotional stability as well in a house. You know, uh, in order for you to have a kid, to raise a, a kid, you cannot treat it as a, as a little dog or as a, anything that he will, you know, self-support. Like, yes, it's okay. You have to feed them, dress them, get them medical help when they need. But you also need to guide them, teach them, and all of that. And things that I feel have just slipped out through, through uh, from uh, Fiona's head. And... You know, in a, in, 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 if you want to judge her, because I feel like the light right now is on her, if you want to judge her for her mistakes right now as, a, as an adult, you also have to understand where she comes from. Which, you know, uh, from a legal st standpoint, like if you look at it like that, will they have a case saying, well, she is negligent because... That is the only way she has been raised. That is all that she knows. This is how she has grown up. Where the fact that you leave coke in your um, in your kitchen, it's a fucking normal thing. There were three adults there. There was Veronica who wasn't even drinking or 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 having drugs. There was Kevin who was high. And and uh, no one paid attention to little Liam. And sometimes, sadly, even if you are a hundred percent there watching over your kids, accidents happen in a blink of an eye. Like it happened at any second. Like I cannot tell you how many times. Like even though I am an overprotective mother and I am over Josh, like looking if something is happening to him. You cannot believe how many times he has done a lot of crazy things in like in, 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 in the split of a second. Like it's insane, you know? So I, I think that um, it's important that um, we know that accidents happen, but this is involving, you know, um, drugs and the kid is, you know, uh, consume cocaine that uh, Fiona said is my cocaine and he snorted and like it's just it's it's so tragic uh, the way Fiona's life is 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 living she is you know she is not an alcoholic she's not you know uh, uh, a drug addict uh, but like seeing her having this whether if she's a, a sex addict or if she is like addicted to bad relationships but the fact that she also believes she doesn't deserve a normal life and that she sabotaged herself because she didn't believe that she deserved this good guy like also gets to tell you love i love the fact that we're getting to to go like we're we're seeing we're getting a lot deeper uh, with Fiona, but it's just insane. Um, you know, I, 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 I will feel bad for Fiona. I, I care about Fiona. I love Fiona. Uh, but when and if the time comes when Lip is going to just flip, I don't think I could blame him, you know? Uh, she is the responsible adult she is supposed to be the one who needs to take care of them. And even though it's, a, it's an accident, she should have been more careful. She should have. Uh, but it's, it's, it's a complicated thing, you know. Um, and then you have... Um, you ca it kind of mirrors as well uh, uh, what the journey that... Um, 
Frank is going through. But, like, he's so... He's 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 selfish. I I I don't think that he, not even this uh, close to death experience for him is helping him out and like helping him become a better human being and a decent human being for his kids. Like he was like, you know, he he has taken so much and has made uh, Carl do so much for him during these moments where he was sick, standing by his dad doing everything in his power to help him. And then he was like, well, I have a, a real chance to make things right with my daughter. The daughter that, you know, she's kind and 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 and, and nice and, and, you know, she wants to have a relationship with her dad, but she doesn't really know him, you know? She doesn't know him. Uh, and I guess that she will get to know him. But, like, for him to say that to Carl, even though he, she, he has helped so much it's just it's awful it's awful and now he is like passing out in that thing i'm um, guessing that didn't help for him but uh he's going to the hospital we have two gallagher's there so we'll see how everything turns out there i hope that Liang is okay um yeah one thing that it could be potentially have spoiled myself is the fact that in the uh, thumbnail, like you saw at the end of the uh, episode, you have a thumbnail and you see, I, I think it, Ian was there, Ian, uh, Liam was there. So I'm guessing that he will survive. Uh, and I have seen that poster several times. Uh, I have also seen posters for new seasons, and I'm guessing that he, Liam is there. Uh, but I'm glad, though, that he's not going to die here, at least. Um, but, man. Anyway, so then Lip, you know, connecting a lot more with the family and with the kids and with Debbie. And the fact that Debbie was so open with him and telling him things. And, like, and I love the Lip always listens to his siblings uh he doesn't judge them you know he will give them a hard time later you know because that's what family is for but in that moment where he with when debbie is telling him you know all the things about having sex and all these things uh he was shook but he was like okay um okay he was just listening to her because she needed to tell someone and it was like you can see how kind and how how amazing lip is you know had a very awful time during the past season like at the beginning especially when he's involved with uh when he was involved with karen it, it just brings out the worst in him but like i think that he has grown so much in the span of a season and season and a half like he has come back to the lip i fell in love with and like it, it's just it's truly an amazing character development and I love Lip so freaking much. Uh, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, then a lot of things, you know, Mikey opening his business with, with Kevin. Uh, the fact that... Um, uh, the fact that... That he was worried all, also about uh, Ian, but Ian hasn't contacted him. And what the hell is happening with Ian? Like, is he high as well? What is going on with him? Like, I, I hope that we get to see him and get to explore a lot more from him and see what, what truly is bothering him. God damn it. He tried to, to steal a helicopter and, like, he stole a, another, like, a bunch of things and he, you know, used Lip's uh, uh, social security number and ID and all of that just to get him in the army and now he's working at this gay bar it is just man well i guess that we will get to see more of of ian and mikey and everyone else i'm so glad that we're seeing mikey and that we're seeing mandy a lot more this season uh and yeah yeah i really like this episode man and that was just that was insane. That was an insane episode. 
Uh, but yeah, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed my reaction video for this amazing episode. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more, comment, hit the notification bell, go to Patreon to watch the full uncut reaction video with over an hour of reaction and review. So yeah, you have that there. And that's it. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting. Uh, I will see you guys, yeah, next time for more reaction videos for Shameless. Mwah. Bye, guys.